the 2019-20 Persian Gulf Crisis, also known as the Iranian-American Confrontation and the Crisis in the Gulf, is an intensification of military tensions between the Islamic Republic of Iran and the United States of America in the Persian Gulf region. The U.S. began a buildup of its military presence in the region to deter an alleged planned campaign by Iran and its non-state allies to attack American forces and interests in the Persian Gulf and Iraq. This followed a rise in political tensions between the two countries during the Trump administration, which included the withdrawal of the U.S. from the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action JCPOA, the imposition of new sanctions against Iran and the designation of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Orps, IRGC, as a terrorist organization. In response, Iran designated the United States Central Command as a terrorist organization. The U.S. and Iran nearly entered into an open conflict on January 8, 2020 when the IRGC launched missile attacks against two Iraqi military bases housing U.S. soldiers in retaliation for the killing of Soleimani, a rare direct Iran U.S. confrontation and the closest to the brink of war between the two nations in decades. Upon initial assessments of no U.S. casualties, the Trump administration curtailed tensions by temporarily ruling out a direct military response but announcing new sanctions. It was later revealed that over 100 U.S. troops sustained injuries during the attacks. During the crisis, Ukraine International Airlines Flight 752 was shot down after departing from Tehran Imam Khomeini International Airport and Western officials said the plane had been brought down by an Iranian SA-15 surface-to-air missile. On January 11, 2020, the Iranian military admitted in a statement that they had mistakenly shot down the plane due to human error. 